Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Defender's Quest. Apparently we need to level up a little bit because we can't beat the Golden Man. So we're going to start at the Stronghold. Now these three can probably take this whole battle, but I'll bring the others out anyways. Missing a berserker, aren't I? Just in time. Uh, we need to get to level 20, I'm assuming. Yeah. He can keep pumping armor break. He's done with that. Next, I'll start on uh, attack. Get that pumped up. That'll help with the armor break. So he gets one point of armor for every 5.56 points of damage in attack. So that'll be pretty nice once we get once we get his uh, attack boosted up. And for both of these, we're waiting on level 20 as well. All right, let's get this extreme. We get a trader's harness as a reward. I might want to get uh, a knight out. A lot of armor here. Largely the same setup. Oh, these guys have armor on. Fighting Armored Revenant. These fallen knights are both vicious and strong. Their unearthly cries echo through the catacombs and across the wasteland. They do 36 damage. They're pretty slow. They have a good amount of armor. What is this? Oh, that's what he's affected with right now because he walked into Rena there. Hmm. It's really tempting to start going offensive, but I want to I want to get their their defensive stuff done, I think. Armor break. Fantastic. A 
gilded spalders on this ash made coat of plates indicate that it most likely belonged to a high ranking official. The canvas surface has been repaired, but the ash word traitor can still be ca seen carved into the cloth. Extensive blood stains are visible through the red dye, though no discernible damage has been done to the armor. Alright, this is this is a heavy armor. So let's give that to Marcos. And the horseman's Lemiar. Alright. Everybody's got the best stuff on that. Unwelcome guests. Oh, this is where we met the dragon. Yeah, it's going to be become fairly standard fare for my strategies to get my rangers out there and boost it and then bring everybody else in. everybody they should be able to wrap this up at the beginning of the playthrough I also talked about when you're grinding and it's almost a shame that you can't speed it up even faster this is kind of what I'm talking about I don't need to I don't need to boost anybody else, I just need them to come out and die. Range and range. They're all one level, those three anyway, are one level away from having that maxed out. And one more time. Oh, there are smoky critters in this one. So, I want to definitely get my healers out here in the middle ish. and up to Holy Light. And one boosted as far as I can on both sides. Might have jumped the gun just a little bit. Want to get a knight out here, right in the middle. Put a berserker there and there. Wipe on both of them for those large groups that are spawning out of there. Uh oh. Let's use a pushback. Start getting some of my other characters out here. Let's 
especially. Oh, what? Hmm. One of my archers died. So maybe put one of the healers up on this side. Go a little slow for a bit. There's a dragon fire as well to help clear some of that out. But a knight there to maybe tank some of that for them. Then get the dragons out there where they can attack most most everything that comes around and that's everybody. Should be able to make it now. Yeah, we got it. Nineteen, getting close. All right, attack and keep pumping up zeal there. Eighteen, haven't made twenty yet there. The Beast's Weapon. This remarkable staff is carved from a single piece of ivory. What monster could produce a horn of such size is truly is a truly terrifying thought. Ornate carvings down the length of the staff appear to tell the story of some unknown hero. It matches no ash, nomad, or quaid motifs, and there are no identifying words, leaving both the identity of the carver and the monster from which the horn originally came a mystery. Let's see. Nope. Not better for... Either of them, but is better for the healers. So that's good. Captain's Warbow for this one. Same basic principle as the original battle. But, except that the other healer is going to come up here to cover the archers because I think we've got, uh, yeah, these spitters that. We can start to do some pretty good damage to our our rangers. I don't think there's any smoky critters in this fight, but I'm keeping my eyes out so I can start boosting my healer if I need to. I'll go ahead and get a group heal, I guess, and I'll start bringing everybody else in. Shucks. 
range. This Ashani war bow is composed of several layers of rare woods glued together. The grip has a depiction of a turning gear and a, and a gold inscription. It reads, Captain Xantamon, defender of the way, most likely a leader of one of the numerous patrols that used to safeguard Ash Temple pilgrims against bandits and nomad raiders. Is it good? It's better for one of them at least. Same basic setup, just pay attention to what's going on so you can change your priority as, as you need to. Get the basic format going. bringing in other people now. Thank you. Oh. I lost one. So what happens we don't pay attention. Or close enough attention anyway. I wonder why they were targeting the healer. up. All foes within range. It's a pretty strong ability. They should have their range maxed now. It's very nice. Still not level 20. Start boosting his attack. Now we've got Inspire we can add at level 20. So that makes getting Zeal with Bacall pretty nice. His friends deal 10% more damage for 5 seconds. And with Azra, I'm going to continue to pretty much boost them evenly for now. I want to get pushback and Dragonfire caught up anyways, and then I'll start probably start picking on my favorites a little bit more. Sheep. Bah. Okay. Pause. I want to get set up a little bit. Now, this is a great place to put him now that we have Zeal. You can, as long as you put the rest of the group within this box, they'll get that, that buff. 
and be just ridiculously overpowered. It doesn't last for a super long time, but it lasts long enough. And they'll just pick up the stragglers. see that little exclamation mark that was inspire there are a lot of sheep here so you do need to Pay attention. They can easily start to sneak by you if you're not careful. You give the right priority. You know, there's so many of them. Prioritizing your area of effect attacks is where it's at. It's like getting whirlwind on on my berserkers here is gonna be pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, and man, look at that range. It's pretty insane. Oh, so close. Look at that. They're getting really close to level 20, but they're just not there yet. Now this, I'm going to skip the third star on that for a while. A long while. We're not nearly strong enough to deal with that. You'll see why when we get to it. Now that our rangers have such a ridiculous range, watch this. Look at that. Let's put them in the middle, boost them up. They nobody can get away. Now, it does take a lot to boost them. I have no Psy left for anybody else. Those archers can can just about handle this map without any help. Just about. Mm. 
And that's that. Level 20, finally. Blizzard. And cleave. Look at the damage on that. 580. Yeah, that's really good. No, oh, not quite. Niru's almost there. Max stacks, not. Got a whole level to go yet. Alright, let's pause, get set up a little bit. I'm not going to go quite so overboard with uh, the rangers right away this time, but it's going to be pretty much the same setup. You can see we have two additional spawning areas for this fight, so protecting the, the back is much more important than it was in the last fight. So now he can inspire all of those. That'll help. Okay. Let's, let's get started. making me nervous. This one's pretty difficult. I want to get Inspire now. Keta's gonna get all my points for a little bit. She needs that range boost to really get to the sides over there. This battle is pretty difficult without without any generic recruits. He's kind of set up the same way, but you only have a fraction of the characters to actually do it with. Ooh, that was close. I have a feeling I'm going to need to use this pushback pretty soon. Let's pause though for a second. Get... Oh, I don't have enough. We might be able to hold off for a bit longer.
I'm gonna slow down a little bit more than is necessary, maybe, but. I'd rather go slower than necessary than make a, a critical mistake. Now it's really tempting, really tempting to re really start pounding on some of these abilities. And I might start doing a 50-50 deal where I give one point to offensive. That's what I, I think I'll do. Do one offensive, go back to that, and then one defensive. Black out the sun. Yeah, it is really strong. Cleave for him. I'll take a look at it real quick. I don't didn't really look at it. Targets up to 10 foes for 10 total hits. Damage at 55 plus 5 for the next level anyway. Where this one does targets up to 5 foes for 5 hits and does 67 damage. This one double the targets. So that's really nice. All right. And fireball. Fireball's really good on the dragon too, but it costs a lot to get them there. And then Nom. Foes below 10% HP automatically die. And that adds to, to Bite. And this, this doesn't add a, a percent of a chance to Poison. It adds Poison. So that's, I mean, that's a guarantee Poison. So that's, that's actually pretty nice to put points into. I like Nom though, because you get up to I think like 20%. You're still not there, are you? I'm gonna check out my timer real quick. Yep, I'm out of time. I don't know why I'm not hearing this timer. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll pick this up next time.